Hello, it says I'm live. Sorry, I'm a little late. It was worth the wait. I hope you agree by the time we're done here. Um, so big announcement. I had been thinking about this for a while. And uh, there was a certain point last year, I kind of had to ask myself, what is it that I want this company to be? What do I want to represent? What do I want to see more of that I'm not seeing right now, not just in the running world, but in the fitness world. Um, it's hard to talk a lot about why these things are so important to me because the stories that I'm telling intersect with mine, but they're not my stories to tell. People I love, people very close to me, not just my husband. I've, and he's told a lot of stories and shared a lot of his truths, um, both in uh, fitness protection and on the Facebook pages and on my personal Facebook page. You've seen if you've seen any of our live streams, all of them live in our YouTube channel and on the blog. Um, but I wanted one thing I did want would be other voices than my own discussing experiences that I've not had or uh, experiences that are not necessarily similar to mine, because all I could think of when I was growing up, what kind of role models would these people close to me, what did they have to look up to? What did they have to think about? Um, and what do they have today? Is it any different? I would say the answer is no. And I think that's really sad. We need more out there. We need more representation. We need broader conversations. And I do this at the risk of being pigeonholed by any one person. And uh, where I'm going with this is that I went on a tear several months ago about my opinion on Brittany Runs Marathon. I'm not going to be doing less of that. I built a platform so I could say what I had to say. Um, and thank you guys for still being here in spite of that occasionally. At the same time, that's not the only way to look at this or the only experience. And if this is really going to be the company I want it to be, and it's really going to do what I want it to do, then we need to be sharing all kinds of experiences and feel safe to talk about what works and what doesn't and why I'm here and what this does for me. And that needs to be, I'm, uh, if, if you identify with me, great, you're covered, but a whole lot of people don't. And I wanted to make sure that you were covered and being reached by people other than me, seeing faces and bodies other than and mine that were fully representative of everything we bring to the table. Effectively, I wanted to see more people that I thought were interesting representing the running world. So this is the big announcement. We are going to be sponsoring athletes starting in 2020. You're going to get to meet a lot of them very, very soon. We're starting with three uh, that I've already definitively picked, spoken with, and chosen. We'll be doing a rollout of these sponsored athletes uh, over the next six months, and you'll get to meet at least one of them. If you decide to join us at Three Days at the Fair, don't forget if you get to join the webinar on Friday while I'm going to be selling you on all the reasons that you need to show up to this really amazing event, not least of which is that you can meet the official sponsored athletes of the fitness protection program. These are not ambassadors. We're not just buying them a t-shirt and asking them to post things to our Facebook pages. We're putting our money where our mouth is. We are paying for these people to travel. We're paying them to show up. We're paying them to race. And we're hoping we're inviting them on our platform to talk about their experiences, not just in the racing world, but in the running world. The first person is a face that might be familiar if you've been here for a while, but it's a face I really can't get enough of. It's the first person that called me out for what I thought I was being really nice, but I was making her feel like shit because I was thinking about what I wanted to say and not about the experience she was having at that moment. That moment made me a better person and a better coach. I am grateful she still talks to me, but our first official sponsored athlete of the fitness protection program that I, I get to introduce to you, Amy. Hi guys. Can you hear me? Hi. Okay. I can hear you. you can hear me. Okay. Perfect. It didn't work earlier. So hi guys. Um, it's Amy. Um, so I just want to tell you that <laughs> a week ago, MK called me and I was like on my planning period and she was like, I have this idea. And she's like, we want to sponsor athletes. We want to do this thing. And I was like, oh my God, MK, I'm not going to lie. I <laughs> have been calling myself a sponsored runner of the fitness protection <laughs> for the last couple of months um, because I, I love everything that fitness protection um does and is and um, has helped me become. Um, MK and I were actually talking earlier today and I was telling her, I was like, I was looking at my runs um, and this is the first time in probably five years that I have actually kept with running 
like through the start of a school year, <laughs> um, through summertime. Um, and I, I, I owe that really to fitness protection and um, having it to um, really stop and think about what it was that I wanted out of running. And one of the biggest things that I wanted out of running was consecutive actual running. Um, I've run off and on for the last 10 years. Um, I would say like in a professional sense in that like I was training for something and I was trying um, to run half marathons and run 10Ks and, and, and all of this stuff. Um, but like, I never like really fully ran them. So I would like do the walk run method, whoever walk run there, there was Gallagher, I think was mm -hmm. the guy that did the walk run method. Mm -hmm. And so like, I did that for forever. And I was always like, oh, I'm still not running the whole thing. Um, and, um, you know, then I started streaming with M MK and, um, I've been training off and on with MK, I would say for the last three or four years, I really like, I was actually, it's really funny. I was looking at like all of my runs from my watch. Um, and it's been about four years that I've been, um, running with MK and I'm like, I was looking at my runs for the last six or seven months and I was like, this is more than I've run in like four years. So, um, it's super great and super wonderful to be an official sponsored runner. Um, because it's, I don't know. I, I think when, when I think about runners and what runners are, um, they are people that have sponsorships. They are people that like have people that support them and all of these things. And that's something that I've always, always wanted. And so having this opportunity, is just, I, it's just so amazing and it's so exciting. And I want to thank MK and coach Sarah um, and fitness protection for really like giving me that opportunity to to be a runner um because let's be honest when you look at me you don't necessarily see a runner um and um you know when i'm out there and i uh i did my i did my long run this weekend and um i did my i did my two hours and you know like i ran for two hours again like and it's one of those things that like i've never run for two hours. Um, prior to like the last couple of months, the longest bout I probably ran consecutively was about an hour, if that. And I only got to that hour long run again through MK's um, heart rate training. Um, so even like when I first started running, I think I could run about 20 minutes and then I'd walk for 10 minutes and then I'd run for 20 minutes and like, doing the whole thing. And I, you know, like if that's how you're running, cool. That is awesome. That is great. Um, just for me, I knew that I was like, oh, I really just want to consecutively run right now. And that is exactly where I'm at. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm really proud of you. And I think your experience really matters and how you feel and how you, uh, and how you feel you are perceived at times. And when you talk about um, the way you feel at races and the way you feel when you are when you are showing up. And I want you to feel the full support of me and the entire community behind you. Because when you show up from now on, it's because we paid for you to be there and we paid for you to do this. And that means something. And I'm hopeful that there will be at least some person or Maybe the ch maybe if not the maybe not all people, but their children are going to see you and see a sponsored athlete and be like, oh, she's a runner too. Then maybe I'm more than what I thought I was, or maybe there's more that I could do, or more that I could be. Because too frequently we have this notion um, that a the the, pe the only people that matter are the ones at the front, that the only people who deserve coaching and that need uh, deserve attention are the people who are uh, showing up to win the race. When I'm like, we just need to talk about everyone who's showing up. And we need to celebrate the work that everyone there is doing. Um, I don't like this notion that the fitter people are faster because that's it. There are all kinds of things can go wrong in a marathon. That's not de facto categorically true. Um, you know, if somebody that finishes a 415 versus 515, the 515 person might be having there the, to, to be defined by a finish time is gross. It's grotesque. It's reductive. And as a teacher, I know that you have issues with that. You are more the sum uh, of the, the knowledge that you brought to one test on one day. And I will not let anyone 
uh, reduce you to your easy effort pace or whatever pace was in the last time you crossed the finish line. You will be celebrated for showing up and we are all going to celebrate you as you go. Amy's the first of three athletes. I can't wait to introduce you to the next two. And if this uh, goes according to plan and we're able to find money in the budget and grow uh, the way I want to the rest of this year, we will hopefully be opening this up and taking applications for people to become sponsored athletes or for uh, uh, for people in our audience to nominate uh, other sponsored athletes. Like who, it, what is not being represented that you would like to see that jives with who we are and what we do. I would like to put my full weight in my big old mouth and my, my wallet behind them too. So thank you, Amy. Thank you for showing up. That's a big announcement. We are sponsoring athletes and Amy Yay! Trigger is number one. Yay! Yay! So excited. It's exciting. And if you're on the call on Friday while we start planning for three days at the fair, you will get to meet athlete number two about a week and a half before everybody else does. So I strongly recommend you show up. You don't want to miss that. Your coach, you are loved. See you on Friday. Bye, guys. Congratulations, Amy. Thank you.